Malibu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I'm going on a trip. Y'all know I love to travel. It is literally a love language. It is one of my favorite things to do. If you follow me on Instagram, at Malibu Darby, then you know that I have a girl's trip coming up in a little under two weeks now. So I'm doing a little like mini travel series. I'm gonna break the videos up for you guys. Um, kind of on my process, packing, maintenance, things like that. I've had a vlog, some vlogs in the past where I've mentioned some travel hacks, some tips, and you guys really like them. I mentioned them on my Instagram, and you guys always ask about them. So I figured why not do a little updated video, show you some things that I purchased for this trip. This trip is unlike any other trip I've done before because if you also follow me on Instagram again, then you know I'm a chronic overpacker. Not only do I overpack, my bag is usually overweight. I do not even attempt to be minimal in my packing. It's not my ministry, it's not what I do. But for this trip, I am doing about a week long trip and I'm trying to carry just a carry on. So just a carry on and a personal item on my flight is all that I am doing. So I'm gonna kind of get into some of the things I bought, like I said, some of my tips and some of the apps and technology that I use to help me when I travel and to kind of streamline my process. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with a little mini travel haul. So things that I bought specifically for this trip to help streamline my process. Things that I usually do or maybe I just need to update the items, but let's get into it. I will have all the links and everything included in the description box below, of course. First things first, a personal item. This particular bag, let me back up. This particular bag is from Shein, and while I usually have a book bag or a Neverfull or something like that, or my big Telfar, like some kind of big bag, I felt like I needed a more specific personal item that was a little bit more um, customized to exactly what I need. So this Shein bag, first of all, I don't know what the price is gonna be when I post this, but I purchased it during the summer sale. This bag was $6, $6. So. This does have a strap so you can carry it like a traditional duffel bag. Um, it has your inside large pocket. Most importantly, I already have some shoes in here. It has a side little pocket for shoes. So this goes all the way inside the bag. So I'll be placing all of my shoes inside of here. In my packing video, I'll get into a little bit more of how I organize my actual outfit, how I minimize the amount of shoes, minimize clothes, things like that. But this bag has a side pocket for shoes. It has a back pocket, which you can put your strap through for your suitcase. And it has a pocket here, which right now I have my passports in. I like to always get a bag that has an inner pocket, whether that's a fanny pack, um, a crossbody bag, or a duffel bag. I like to have an inward facing pocket that only I can access. And in there, I like to put passports, wallets, things like that. So you gotta get the bag up off me to get to that pocket. You can't just walk by and reach in or anything like that. Then on the front, it has two smaller pockets because I do travel with my electronics. I travel with my laptop, I travel with my chargers, camera, and I like to have those with me immediately. So I like to go ahead and put those in the front pockets of these. So this bag for $7 is the first and maybe the most important item for this particular trip. Okay, so for the next item, I'm actually gonna end up showing you guys how exactly this works. This is a Ryder Man. I got this complimentary from Ryder, but I'm really excited about it. Like I said before, typically my personal item is either like my big old Telfar bag, my Neverfull, a little book bag, something like that. But the problem with that is I end up having to take my purse straps and either like try to attach them to the carry-on so I can push it through, or when I get on the plane, I have to take that same purse, that nice purse, and put it under the seat in front of me. So the Ryder Band, I'm really excited to use because it acts like a sock over the personal item and your carry-on. Let me show you. Okay, so essentially, this is how this works. So I'm gonna put my personal item here. And this is big for me because I'm trying to just take these two bags. I need all of the storage that I can get. So I got the black, of course, because I like to get everything in black and uh, my carry-on is black so I feel like it'll look more seamless. So you just stretch this over. So I would do this with my purse or whatever it is. And then I can put this over like this. So it essentially is attaching my personal item to the suitcase. 
I like, especially if I was having a purse, I really like that you wouldn't be able to tell what kind of purse it was. You can even use this as additional storage and stick my stuff in here and it stays. So I'm very excited to use this, but that is a rider band. Again, just trying to utilize every inch of storage that I have. So now I can roll through without having to worry about it falling over, anything like that. And then when I get on the plane and have to put my purse or whatever it is under the seat, this covers it so I don't have to have my nice purse on the floor. So definitely excited to use this all the time. Honestly, this is, I should have been at this because I have to take my dust bag sometimes to put the purse in there. So excited for the rider band. Y'all, I kid you not, the band had my phone so secure, I just spent the last five minutes trying to figure out where I put my phone. <laughs> okay, on to the next item. The next item, y'all know, I'm a scent girl now, I'm a fragrance girl. I always have my dossier and my different little perfumes. But when I'm trying to maximize my bag, I cannot have a bunch of glass bottles, even if they are under the 3.5 ounce or whatever. It just takes up too much space trying to have a bunch of perfume bottles. So I ordered these atomizers from Amazon. So you can take these and you use them you just put the the bottom has a little hole on it you put it on top of your perfume spout and you pump it so now i can have a little travel size ooh, of my favorite scents without having to carry all them around and the one i got from amazon has about eight of these in it so this should be more than enough for my trip for a week so this is something i'm really excited for and honestly even just taking these when you go out so you don't have to have a big bottle in your purse all the time these are just good just to keep one in your purse keep one in your car gym bag these are just much more convenient than carrying a perfume bottle around so definitely get you an atomizer the next items are for me a lot of times the reason i like to check a bag is because i don't have to minimize my skincare or my hair products because for, that is just stressful for me a lot of times. Or a lot of times, I don't know if it's hair type or just the products that I choose, my products don't come in travel size and I've looked high and low. So I ordered these little mini foam bottles off of Shein, I got two of them, and I transferred my hair foam directly to the foam bottle. So now I have two of these filled with my hair foam and I'm also ordering two more so that I can use my foam face wash. So. Having a little mini foam bottle is oftentimes like transferring the product, my larger products into a travel bottle is a lot of times more convenient for me and more financially responsible for me than trying to buy travel sizes. I feel like travel sizes, you do not get your bang for your buck. They make it one ounce, but they're charging you half the price of a regular size. So it's like you're getting a fourth of the product for half the price. It's just not, it doesn't make sense. I'm not paying. $15 for a small CeraVe when the regular one is 22 With that being said, I bought an eight count of these Tupperwares from Amazon. These are airtight, I have tested them, I've had them in my bag. For me, again, I have a whipped shea butter that I buy from a store here that does not come in a travel size. Um, CeraVe healing on me is very expensive and the travel, the little tiny one, just does not make sense to purchase that for the price. Um, I also have my hair gel, which doesn't come in a travel size. So I like to almost depot like a makeup artist does when they're making their kit. I like to depot my beauty items. I use my little label maker. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. I use my label maker to put shea butter or whatever the item is so I don't have to guess. Also, so TSA doesn't have to guess. And I basically build my own little beauty. Here we go. I'm like, I think I already did a couple. I basically build my own little personal travel size beauty product. So this is my CeraVe, I have my hair gel, and I have my shea butter in these. So this is what works best for me. If your products come in travel sizes, or if you're like, girl, I'm not doing all that, I wanna just buy the travel size, that's great. But for me, if I have the two gallon size of hair gel, and it's a struggle for me to find the exact brand that I want, it's just easier for me to do this, and it makes more sense. And yes, you will have to do this initially, but I don't do this every time. I have a travel little beauty bag. These stay in there. So this will be in there for me. Again, this is good for the gym, things like that. So once I prep these for vacation season, I just go and grab my stuff. I do buy stuff that is traditionally travel size. Um, so I will have like my sunscreens. I do have like the travel size, let's see. 
So I did buy like the Travel Size Sunscreen Spray. I bought the Travel Size Olaplex um, because those do come in travel sizes. But for me, a lot of things that I want do not. Let me know if your products come in travel size or if you feel like you run into that same issue too. Is that just a black girl thing? Like, do our products not come in travel size? Do they not think we'd be traveling? I don't know. But I have found that a lot of times it's hard for me to find my travel size in the products that I like to use. Speaking of hair, this is a portable sit on a dryer. So obviously I have very minimal hair, a lot less hair, um, but I am a water baby when I'm on vacation. I'm in the pool all day long. If you tell me dinner is at seven, I am trying to calculate how long I can stay in this water until I have to get out. So I like to travel with this little um, sit under dryer attachment. So most hotels, Airbnbs, things like that, haven't some kind of blow dryer at least. So you can attach this to your blow dryer, attach this to the nozzle, this inflates and boom. Now, while I'm doing my makeup or whatever, if I have five minutes, I can dry my hair. This is super convenient, especially if you have braids or anything that holds water because you can, they can mildew. It could just be like, you're just going to bed with wet hair. So I suggest whatever it is that you need. I don't like to adjust my beauty routine as much. I just want to figure out how can I streamline it for a trip. So this works best for me versus trying to find some other kind of like little portable sit under or something like that. So I really love this and it's super duper convenient. When I travel, my sister who has locks uses this. It's definitely a good investment piece. And last but not least from the things that I purchased, I actually got this little jewelry case on Shein. I think the regular price was like $3 and change, but when I got it, it was literally a dollar and 20 cents. So you can see it just has some spaces for your necklaces. Um, you could put anything from like some bigger earrings in here, stud earrings, rings, anklets, things like that. I still do my little straw hack that I mentioned to you guys before, but I do think having a good compact jewelry case is important, especially for your valuable pieces and for your stud earrings and rings and things like that. Necklaces you can either wear or that kind of thing, but I do think a little jewelry box is a good buy. I want to get into some of my um, hacks and tips I mentioned some before, like I said, and you guys typically like them. Honorable mention, which I don't think I'll be utilizing on this trip just because of how I am um, packing, is to keep your shopping bags when you shop online. So I know people have packing cubes and all these little pouches and things like that, but I like to keep my shopping bags, my little garment bags, because when I pack, I like to pack the exact outfit in here. There's no looking for the pants, there's no figuring out what top, trying to figure out what I was doing. I have everything in here, accessories, my scarf, everything in this bag. I can pull it out, boom, when I'm done, I can put it back in here for dirty clothes. It just makes things a lot easier when you're trying to figure out, like, what was I trying to put with this? Because what I found is that you gotta be intentional when you are packing for a trip a week on a carry-on. Another one that I mentioned to you guys before that even though I'm a little delivered from it, I still use, I know I have a jewelry box now, but is the straw with your necklace hack. So literally you just take a straw. I have straws in my house. I don't know if that's weird. I just have my bar cart has straws. You thread it through and then you can just close it up and it keeps your necklaces from tangling. So this is something I've done for a long time. For me, no matter what, I put them in, I feel like my necklace end up getting tangled. So the straw hack for me is really good if I'm taking a bunch of necklaces. So the next hack and the reason that I'm really not going to be utilizing my um, packing bag little trick is to roll your clothes. I know these are not secrets. This is not anything new. I'm not making this up myself, but some people just don't know. And some people are like, girl, how am I gonna pack for a week on this little carry on this carry on bag? So you literally, instead of folding your clothes, which I know you're like, but they're flat. If you roll them, and I, if I think I have a little video right here, when you roll them, you can literally end up playing like clothing Jenga, like mushing them together, pushing them together, squishing them down. It really allows you to maximize the space in your bag. And that is all we are worried about doing, maximizing the space in your bag. So rolling your clothes, super important. My mom has told me that even when it's in my dresser, like my dresser at home, she's always been like, roll your clothes, roll your clothes, don't fold them. So utilize that when you are packing. 
Um, next up with maximizing your space is to wear your bulkiest clothing. For me, I'm going to a beach. I still want to take a light little jacket. I'm going to wear that. Um, my bigger shoes, I think my Birkenstocks might be my bigger, heftier shoes. I'm going to wear those. My denim, I'm going to wear my jeans because those are going to be the biggest things. Especially in the winter. If you have big boots, if you have big coats, wear all the things you can. Tie that shirt around your waist. Tie things around. Like Wear all the extras that you feel like may take up any additional space. That purse, that's really structured and really hard shaped. That brand of Blackwood trunk bag that doesn't, it's not malleable and can't really be mushed around in your suitcase. Carry that to the airport. You have to really think about what's taking up all the space. Why am I needing this big old bag every time? And try to minimize that. Um, that also brings me to another trick. So I actually purchased a um, airplane pillow that is in the mail right now. I will put how it looks here um, but it's another hack that you can do they so technically the one that I have is a long tube you can fill it with your soft clothing and then it becomes an airplane pillow this is an actual airplane pillow but I have seen where people remove the stuffing from here and you can put in your bathing suits put in your scarves your bandos summertime it's really easy because a lot of your clothes are soft so that is a hack that I was like an airplane pillow full of clothes is genius. So I would definitely say if you can purchase a pillow like that, that can be very helpful. Or if you have one like this and most of them just have a zipper and you can go in here and pull that stuffing out, put your soft clothes in, and now you have another compartment, like the rider band, you have another compartment where you can put your clothes. So put the things where you can put them. Moral of the story. Okay, and last but not least, on our preparation for this girls trip, I want to give you guys a little bit of like my favorite tech things that I like to use or apps or things like that. So although this is a carry on only trip, if you do not travel with an air tag, I need you to get an air tag. There are packs of them. They sell them in bundles on Amazon. I like to put them. I'm definitely going to put one in my personal item because that's where my electronics are. But I also like to put one in my carry on because although it's a carry on, I don't know if you've been to the gate before and they're like, we need people to check bags or if you check a bag, you get a credit or if you check a bag, you get upgraded to this seat or whatever. So in the event that for some reason I have to check my carry on or who knows, I just like to put an air tag in there so I can always know where it is. I don't want to risk it. It's not worth it. And air tags are really affordable. They're like 25 bucks. So I definitely recommend getting an air tag when you travel. And even in the hotel, I'm sure there's probably some way you can utilize it, put it with your really valuables or something like that. So I definitely recommend purchasing an air tag. Um, next in tech, app wise, I love to use Google Drive. Google Drive is. I will, let me see if I can like put up a little idea of like a spreadsheet. I like to use Google Drive because it's shareable. You can put your itineraries, you can put, um, you guys can share restaurant listings that you want to do. You can put links, you can put all the details. My friends know if there's a event or a weekend or a trip, there's a Google Drive and they will literally be like, where's Google Doc? Because there I'm going to have all the details you need. Hotel, phone number, brunch options, everything you need. So for me, I really love to use Google Drive. You can update in real time, access it on your phone, have everything saved in there. I like to put outfit like checklist on there everybody can have different tabs i'm just a google drive fanatic when it comes to planning a trip planning a group trip having a central location for all the things which brings me to the app trip it the app trip it i actually was recently put onto that but i'm kind of in love with it you can actually link it to your email and it will literally go through and source all the information it will you can put i'll put a little screenshot here you can put um, your boarding information, it will pull your confirmation numbers, it will pull your reservation information. So when you are traveling, you're not like, oh, hold on, let me let me get the confirmation number for our shuttle from the email. Let me, hold on, let me, let me do this. Let me see what time we do this. It can have it, everything in one place and you can share it. So similar to Google Drive, um, but I think book trip it is a little bit more useful once you have everything already booked. And Google Drive is more useful when you are kind of planning the trip itself. So two apps that I really love. And last but not least, if you are like me and you want that first thing out, I want to roll over and go to the airport. I want to fly out so early that I don't go to sleep the night before. Put me on a 5 a.m. flight. So normally I arrive before I can check in. Bounce is an app that you can use to 
hold your bags. If you were doing an Airbnb or something, it's not like a hotel where you can take your bags to the front desk and they'll hold it so you can check in. But Bounce allows you to um, search your area, find a third party. When I went to New Orleans, we did it at a dry cleaner. We um, got in our Uber from the airport. We went to Bourbon Street, where we were gonna be hanging out, near our Airbnb. We took our bags to our Bounce um, vendor who we had already registered with and paid for. It was literally like six bucks and they held our bags from like 7.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. which when we could go check in. And it was six dollars and we still were able to have the whole day out on Bourbon, enjoy the trip. So I definitely recommend if you are arriving before a trip or leaving after checkout and need somewhere to put your bags, check out Bounce because it is super useful. So I think that is it guys. I feel like this is gonna be like a three part thing. So my tips and tricks and haul and then packing with me and then like maintenance. I don't know, maybe that's what I'm thinking, like a little travel series. Let me know if you have any questions specifically about traveling, if I didn't put the link to something, anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.